Hi, Shell Point. I'm Christy Skinner, your Senior Director of Healthcare, bringing you another edition of the Medical Minutes. When weather begins to change, it is often a relief for the heat in Florida, but is also an indication that flu season is upon us. The flu can have devastating consequences, especially amongst seniors. According to the CDC, or Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, between 2010 and 2019, over 336,000 people died from the flu. And even more alarming facts from 2017 and 2018 data, over 90% of those deaths were from people 65 and older. The good news, thanks to vaccinations and other proactive steps, the flu is preventable. One of the best steps in prevention is through education. So let's get a little more familiar with the flu so that you are empowered with the tools you need to protect yourself this flu season. The flu, properly known as influenza, is a respiratory illness that can present initially with similar symptoms of the common cold, but quickly develop into a medical concern needing hospitalization. The flu can infect humans and many other mammals too. There are three types of influenza, type A, B, and influenza C. The most common of the three is influenza A. Influenza B makes up for 20% of all cases and type C is the mildest of the flu viruses and the least common. The viruses affect the nose and throat and progress occasionally to the lungs. No matter the type of flu, the symptoms are similar but vary in severity. The symptoms are constant cough, runny nose, fever above 101 degrees, sore throat, chills, muscle cramps and aches, headaches, stomach issues that may be diarrhea and vomiting. Please be mindful that just because you have these symptoms, this does not mean you have the flu. You may have the common cold. Typically, the common cold has a slight fever and a stuffy nose associated with the symptoms that lasts a few days. Any symptoms that are more severe, such as persistent headaches, vomiting, and that are lasting more than two to three days should be immediately treated, as you may have the flu. Typically, with antibiotics, the flu lasts around two weeks, but with seniors, there tends to be more complications associated due to the flu taking such a toll on your immune system. You are more vulnerable with medical complications such as diabetes, kidney disease, heart problems, and asthma, just to name a few. Other extended issues that may arise are pneumonia, bronchitis, sinus and ear infections, and dehydration. So how does the flu spread and what are the best ways to protect yourself? The flu is highly contagious and flu season varies slightly from year to year, but it begins in the fall and runs its course through spring and it peaks season in January and February. You need to safeguard yourself from October typically through the end of April or the beginning of May. Remember that this is not only the time of season, but the intensity of the season that matters. Over the past 16 years, a quarter of the flu seasons have had higher than usual rates of intensity. The CDC says that one person can infect another person if they were within six feet of each other. Some ways that you can contract the virus are breathing it in, touching doorknobs that are, have been touched with someone with the flu, touching unclean surface areas, or areas with droplets of saliva from either a sneeze or a cough. With knowing the ways to become exposed to the flu, let's discuss ways that you can best be the protector of yourself during flu season. Your first line of defense is to get your flu shot. We offer the flu shot at the medical center five days a week. There are also several other areas in town that offer the flu shot for your convenience. According to the CDC and our physicians, this is the single best way to prevent the seasonal flu. During this time of year, keeping your hands clean after touching public surface areas and extra hand washing around the house is another great preventative step. Cover your mouth and nose when sneezing or coughing and do not touch your face with an unwashed hand as this is one of the easiest ways for germs to enter your body. Additionally, there are always lifestyle approaches to keeping your body healthy during flu season. A simple smile and laughter can boost your immune system. Eating healthy and routine exercise is a wonderful way 
to boost your immune system and help ward off germs. Staying at home if you do have any concerning symptoms, as this will keep you from worsening your condition and also protect your friends and neighbors. If you do have concerns that you might have the flu, please feel free to call the medical center or your physician so that they can assess your symptoms and get you on the road to recovery and getting well. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out to me at Christy Skinner at ShellPoint.org. Stay healthy this flu season. Thank you, ShellPoint.